Hi everyone, it's Christina and Happy New Year. I hope your 2022 is pretty good so far. I'm sitting here with my morning coffee, my cute little kitty mug, little fishes up here. And today I am going to flip through my December daily. I'm also going to show you my new year's, my new journal I made for the new year and a few other things that I am working on on my craft table. So let's get started. So I'm going to go through the last few pages of my, uh, let's see, this would be, I started in the summertime, but I'm going to show you the last few pages in my fall book because I don't think I showed anyone. So it starts, I'll start here with, um, uh, I was making some salsa and I made some applesauce. And also this book that I, when I made this journal, um, it's bigger than some other ones that I've made. Like each page, I mean, this is five and a half in width and the length is eight and a half. I love that size because there's lots of room. And then um, these come out for journaling and here was like the fall bucket list. And I, oh yeah, and then a tag comes out here. And I was able to, you know, do some journaling on there. And just a fall page there. Quote from Victoria Erickson. Uh, fall, more fall. Fall movie list. Love this paper. I think... I have this on my computer and I just print it up every uh, you know October November and I stick the I stick the picture in my journal page because I just love it and there's a little quote here by Humbert Wolf listen to your soul it knows the way hello autumn here's some Halloween pages looks like I did a movie lineup This was Halloween. There was my little Halloween uh, decoration at the front door. We didn't really get very many trick-or-treaters this year. Here's a little page. Here's my tag that I didn't write anything on. Oh, I did some, uh, I think I did some painting and stenciling and stamping on these pages. Some collage work there. A thankful page. Things I like. And look at this cute little owl. And I didn't finish here. Aww. Monday too. Aww. I like this um, idea of doing uh, on the side of, or yeah, the side of the page during Monday to Sunday and then you know writing down next to it, but I never I never finished And this must be like a little coffee page here cute little owl and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for um, This journal and I use this one a lot say one two three October November. So this, yeah, quite a few months in that one. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my December daily. All right, so here is my December daily. And, you know, I love cut going on Google Images and then always cutting, doesn't matter what month it is, I just like to cut out a little calendar of the month and put it somewhere in, um, in my journal. And I don't know where I found this, but gold equals love, frankincense equals joy, and myrrh equals peace. Little tag in here in this pocket. Look at the sweet little kitty there. Now, did anybody make their house smell like Christmas this year? When you know, when you grab a pot and... Or Christmas, I should say Christmas last year. And in a pot, you put cinnamon sticks and oranges and cloves and things. Well, I didn't. I totally forgot. Christmas poem and a little um, jot it down tag. 
So that was my one. I think I almost did every day in here. I think I, I may have skipped a few too. And here in this pocket, uh, these were little prompts I had done. And I even check marked when I did some of them. So yay, I forgot to check giving. And board games, definitely did that. I wanted to do a collage page. It says here biscotti, but I did not bake any biscotti. I didn't do much baking this year. Here's December 2nd, there's my tree. And then I always like to uh, put sort of a full calendar so I can write things down. And this is December the 3rd. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, okay. So there's third, there's the picture. It's a little, it's a mug inside the microwave. And then here, when you flip this up is what I, uh, journaled about. And I wrote that every once in a while, when I open the microwave, there's a cup of coffee sitting there, but it's cold. And what my husband has done is he has heated his coffee in the microwave but he forgot <laughs> that he did that that always makes me giggle and then here my husband he bought me um a gift certificate to the here where i live it's called the salmon arm game and game and gun club i think um so it was a day where i don't know if i've got a picture of all the girls but there was about eight of us and we were able to shoot uh the bow, uh, shotgun, and a target shooting with a rifle. So um, I so love the bow that my husband bought me one for Christmas. And um, while well, it's been cold and snowing out, but when the time comes, I look forward to using the bow and it was a lot of fun. And I made plum liquor this year. Well, actually, I started in August, and by December, we were ready to um, drink it. And there is um, my husband's granddaughter getting her first snowflake on her tongue. And December the 7th, that's my birthday. And then I go, we go straight from 7 to 11, so I think the rest of the days are somewhere in there. And here I put a little tag, 14 days until Christmas. And here we go, here's December 8th and the 9th. Here's the 10th. And here I just pop things in, pictures that I didn't use. Here's the 12th, I did, I baked some Christmas cake. And here is uh, Proverbs 13.20 on the 13th. And uh, the 14th, this is so cute, hey? Stop tracking that package. It's in the Lord's hands now. So I did quite a bit of online shopping and I wrote everything down. Oh, I have to show you something I bought on Etsy. So this I purchased, or this one here I purchased on Etsy. I don't know, it's one, two, three dollars. And it's an online shopping tracker. And then anytime I order something online, I can write it down. And then when it comes, or when I get it in the mail, then I can just check it off. And this one too, shopping list, I write stuff on here. And this is a printable from Andrea Gamol. And I think I just found this one on Google Images. But anyhow, so I had my list of everything that, you know, I shop for online. And when I get it, I check it off. And we had a... Um, major highway closures because of flooding this this year back in I think it was October maybe so everybody was worried that anything that they had ordered was not going to arrive in time so I just I found this little I think I found this on Instagram and there's my husband sitting in front of the computer the cat's on his lap <laughs> and actually you know what I used for the background of this page was tons of uh, washi tape I thought it was time I bring out some washi, so there's just a ton of washi tape in the background. And here is the, oh look my page, I'm going to have to glue that in. 
here is the 17th. It looks like I did some shopping. I didn't write anything on my tag. Um, but there's some pictures of the Christmas tree in the mall. And 2021, 20, 22. And here's just a film strip. Um, looks like lots of I'm wrapping presents and then the presents wrapped under the tree. There's my husband putting some presents under the tree. There's my husband wrapped up in his blanket. <laughs> And it looked, it was minus 10 that day. And this is, I wrote down one day before Christmas and a little journaling there. And this is the 23rd. Uh, my son was here for Christmas. Um, I just had one son visit this year, not both of them. And um, I have this pellet gun or BB gun. I don't know, pellet gun, BB gun, I forget. And uh, so I did some, uh, I was shooting garbage, or um, I was shooting uh, pop counts in the back backyard. So that was lots of fun. And then we had the fire going, and my husband and I had some hot chocolate. And this is the 24th, so there's my tag. Oh, look, we've gone from 24, and then we're going back in time. The 19th, oh yeah, lots of snow. Uh, we went for a drive, my husband and I, and these are like big bales of hay, I think, and somebody um, used them to make a huge, huge snowman. Look how huge that is, because that's me, and look how tall it is. And there's the 18, so 18, 19. I was gonna list some movies that I watched, because I watched a lot, but I didn't get around to that. I hate when I have these pretty pages and I don't, I forget to, you know, do something on them or write on them. So there's the 25th. The stockings were hung. There is Christmas morning breakfast. And there's our kitty cat. She got in on the fun. She hopped up on the table. So cute. There's a tag I made. I took out, I finally took out my jelly plate, my jelly now, what's it called? Just a minute. Let me go grab it. My gel press plate. And did, you know, played around a little bit with different colors. And I made some tags. So pretty. And there's a few more pictures. Christmas memories of Indy in the living room. And then here is a... Uh, just a bunch of pictures. I'm going to show you in my other, in my um, new journal for the new year, how I, I do this page. It's um, lots of fun. And there's my son. He's going home in his truck. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I was going to, yeah, that's it. Okay, so that was my December daily. <gasps> All right, so now I'm going to show you my new journal for the new year. And this is it here. I chose some yellow pattern paper and just added some trim there. And then some ephemera. This little, this little pin comes out. Safety pin. No, that's not a safety pin. That's a paper clip. <laughs> and tell your story typewriter. And for color, I added a butterfly. And then for the cover, I decided to make the, I forget this part here, a little bit thicker. Uh, let's see if I can show you another one. Like here, see how this one um, is just folded over and creased? And then this one, I decided to make it thicker. So there's, you know, you got some more room inside when you're adding uh, decoration and ephemera and flowers and things like that. So I haven't done too much in this one. Um, I added a pretty little envelope here. I made this little envelope and then I got a tag in there. And this tag is just done on patterned paper and it's inked up. And then on one side I glued just, you know, when I'm if I'm inking, like uh, I'll lay a doily down here and then I'll ink it up. So I just cut a little piece of that off so that's what's glued on the side. And I think this is just paper that I printed up on my computer. And it just makes, and then I, uh, let's see, um, and then I just took a black pen 
and traced all around the edge. So that's a pretty tag there. And then here, this corner pocket is uh, m uh, music sheet paper. And then I've made some more tags. And this is vellum paper. Now I bought a big pack of vellum paper, like eight and a half by 11. And then what I did is I went on Google Images and, and searched for script. And then I saved about four or five different types of script. And then I opened up Microsoft Word and I put all those script images in and I moved them around. And then I print it onto that eight and a half by 11 vellum and it comes out very pretty. And here I was uh, again with the, the jelly plate. I was uh, having lots of fun and wow, it turns out so cool. I'm gonna have to do more pages um, like that. Oh, and here's a, a page I already did. Life is tough, my darling, but so are you. And here, okay, so I'm gonna show you this. So what I do, is um, okay let's just find a blank page here okay so the first thing I did is I'm going to I just measured with a pencil so I marked it here and I marked it here now I'm gonna go and cut that out all right so I sort of started one um, and then what I do is I take my ruler and I just eyeball it, maybe, you know, sort of halfway or in the middle, and then I'll draw a line. And then I'll draw a line about here. And then one here. And one here. Then I take this to my sewing machine. And I sew down and across and up and over and I just sew all over the place like this. And then what I do after that is I glue it down on my page and then I decorate it. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five sections. And let's just grab this December daily. And that's what I did here. So I just, this is a picture from a magazine, a joy sticker, a little poem here, a uh, picture. There's some pattern paper or some inking paper that I did underneath and threads for my sewing machine, picture of my son at Christmas time, peace on earth. And there's like a little recipe. And here is pattern paper with a little bird and, and some, and, turn there. So that's what I did in in my journal. So let me just go find that page. So I did the same thing here. I glued it down and then I've got one, two, three, four, five sections. So in this one I put a little teacup. In this one there's some book page in the background here. It says busy, busy, busy. An angel girl or angel fairy. Again, lots of thread. I just glue it down with like stickles, making more time for myself because I'm always very, very, very busy. So I think the theme of this page was to make more time for myself, relax, have a cup of tea. Um, and here is um, just a picture of a flower in the background. There's some lace. And then this one um, flips open because this was an ATC. It was a surprise happy mail. And I got this beautiful ATC in the mail. And then it opens up. And then I've got the info of who sent it on the back. And then I'm still going to do a little journal in there. So that was by Sharon. Thank or Shannon. Thank you so much for the ATC card, Shannon. And then on this page, um, I don't know, I think I just found this image in a magazine, uh, natural and handmade. I sewed that on. And this this sort of all together so I can tuck something back there. And here's some journal cards that are sort of sewn on. And again, I always like to use sewing machine thread. 
And I think, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't done too much in January. I haven't dated anything yet, so um, I'm kind of behind, but that, that's okay. All right, so that's my January. So I'm just going to show you what... Um, journals I'm creating for, or journals that I'm making for, I'm uh, from an Etsy shop. So this one, again, I'm trying to make this the this part of the book a little bit thick, so you've got more room in it. So I haven't done. I've just got the pages. I've just bound this book and added pages. I like adding this vellum in there. So I haven't done any really too much decorating in this book. And then in this journal, and that's the inside. I did a corner pocket, and I've made some tags already. And just pages in here from books or coffee stain pages, old dictionary, encyclopedia pages. I already made this uh, little pocket there. So I haven't done too much in that. And then this one, that's the cover, the back. And actually, I did this myself. I did a, um, I just grabbed, what did I do? I forget. Let me go find the original. So this is the original. And what I do is just a piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. And then I grab just pieces of, anything that's laying on my desk, scrap pieces of paper, old journal cards, and then I glue everything down, just collage style. Um, and I even did some sewing. And then I put this in my scanner and, and I scan it. So that is, that is the cover. And I think what I did is I cut it in half and I glued um, one part on the front and the other half here on the back like that. And then corner pocket on the inside page. And such pretty paper. <laughs> Vellum again. I'm right into that. A little tag there. And I've been making some of these. I try to have a whole bunch of extras, so I'm working on these journals. I've got uh, stuff to decorate it with. So see this one here? I mean, I could add um, you know, a word or a saying, and then a tag could go in the background. So I made, I've got some extras here. I mean, you could you know, do your journaling here or write the date. And there's an old um, airmail envelope. And then here on this page is a glassine bag and a little tab, flower in the background. And then this is just a, uh, let's see, what's this called? I don't know, I got it at the dollar store. Index cards, ruled index cards. And I just grab, you know, rip one off and then cut it if I need it to fit on a page. And it's just great for, you know, writing down any info you need on your page. And then, let's see, we've got some lace in the background, some trim and threads, and then the tag goes in here. It says details. And one more. Just started this one the other day. Um, and this is a smaller one. This is, got to find my ruler. Let's see. This is, normally I make them now five, five and a half width and eight to eight and a half length. But this is a smaller one. So this is five by not quite eight. But that's the cover. And then I still have to cover the inside, front and back. 
but I did the first page here. And here I just put this uh, sticker, says noted, a little flower there. And this is one of those airmail envelopes, so just a little decorating there. And a little tag I made. And a little folder. And I haven't done much at all to that one. So that's what I'm doing, you know, with my, uh, during my uh, days, not days off, but if I'm not working in my spa, then I'm working on my journals. I'm working in my own journal. Anyhow, that's pretty much, I think, all that's been going on. I'm going to show you uh, these beautiful images here. I purchased this on Etsy. So the Etsy seller is Lisa's Altered Art. And these are little girl fairies. So um, I've been cutting them out. So sweet. So if you're interested in little girl fairies, go check her out. And then I actually I made these too. I forgot. I like to have these on hand as well as I'm working in my journal or making journals. So these are just like, um, like pattern, just paper, pattern paper. And then I will put uh, line paper, a uh, glue line paper on the front, or ledger paper, and then just to s stick a sticker on it, and then it'll be great for. Uh, it's a journal card. So this one says this is to do with. Uh, the kitchen is the love of the home, so I might put a recipe on there. My little things, and there's a teapot, coffee cup, or teacup, a little heart sticker, and this one, God Chick, Our Story, Girl Resting on the Couch, I'm probably going to use this one for me because my hair is always up. So <laughs> I have to make that one personal. And I think now that's it. Made these little, I have this uh, um, ticket strip, Tim Holtz die. And so I cut, or I made a whole bunch and then I can stamp, have them stamped. These are good to decorate in your journal. So I've, so far I've stamped journal and our story. These are good for like in the front of books, I find. And uh, I guess that's it. Oh wait, I made some more stuff. <gasps> made this cute little uh, journal piece. It says, plant kindness, grow love. And then I've been making some tags and I just made this one yesterday. Time for a coffee break. <laughs> All right, now I'm really going. Now I think I'm totally 100% finished. Oh. Okay, everyone. Love you all and um, Happy New Year again. We'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.